There's a bit of magic in these reindeer antlers. No, not the sleigh pulling kind, but researchers think the kind that perhaps can heal. So why do you think the antler and what the antler is able to do might have some applications in human wound healing? So one of the interesting things about the, about the antler is, is the rate of growth uh, that this, this organ is formed. So as it's moving out of the, out of the skull, it's actually growing at a rate of one centimeter a day, if not more. So this is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of cells that are being generated very rapidly. We wondered whether the skin itself, not, not the entire antler, but just the velvet might hold some unique regenerative properties in itself. So for the past four years, veterinarians have been intentionally wounding the animals, under anesthetic, of course. We make a small wound in this skin, um, and then we make the same kind of a wound on the back skin or anywhere else on the body. The, the velvet wounds actually regenerate almost perfectly. And so when you go back three weeks later, you can, it's really difficult to find where the wound is. Scarless. Right, it's, it's, almost, it's almost scarless. Uh, but if you look at the, the, the wound that you made, say, on the back skin, it forms a very robust scar, almost what, exactly what you would see on human skin. Now to try to understand how that happens, we're isolating cells from the velvet and from the back skin, and then studying them in the laboratory in order to, to understand uh, on, on more of a, a molecular level how they might be different and how they might, they might respond differently to an injury. Here's a cross-section image of that scarred back skin. The wound is empty, the skin is destroyed permanently. Now here's the velvet after it's healed. Virtually no scar and everything has regenerated. Skin, hair follicles, even glands. Even though the science is still in research stage, burn specialist Dr. Vincent Gabriel calls this kind of discovery science essential. For people that have injuries that destroy all the layers of the skin, despite having all of our available resources, there is no way for us to return skin's function to the way it was pre-injury. As a result, people frequently have injuries to the hands or face, functional regions that end up in lifelong scarring. So whatever we can do to learn and advance our science, the better we'll be. Being a burn survivor, I know how much it means to so many people. A dozen years ago, Don Adamson survived third degree burns to 50% of his body. Now a national advocate for burn survivors, Adamson is excited about the potential in research, like the Reindeer Project, for future patients. Being burned is a full-time thing. It never goes away. And uh, if you can uh, give someone a better quality of life because they have better mobility and uh, they don't look as scarred, uh, it's a, really a big thing. The five-year study is expected to be published next year. Of course, it would be years beyond that for any human application. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, near Calgary.